The devil is a professional loser. You are anointed to win. Welcome to the Whoop the Devil podcast. Here's your host, Corey Scarlett. Surprise! Look who it is. It's Porter Cry. No, it's yes. Porter's here. Parker Cry. Who's He's everybody? here. He's here in South Carolina. The great state of SC. Um, so share this. With a Bass wanna... Pro hat. He's got a Bass Pro hat. And I've only been fishing twice, so. You know, I'm I'm official. <laughs> of official. Okay. Official. And we're, this is a special Praise You in the Storm podcast edition. Yes. Let's just sing it one time for the people, man. Here we Share go. this. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead to the podcast screen, man. Let's sing. And I praise, praise you in the storm. And I lift my hands. You are who you are. No matter where I am. Whatever the rest of the song is. We don't know the rest of it. But um, we kind of sound like Creed. My so. thing for me is like, what if, like, I always wonder, like, what if his blessings come through raindrops? <laughs> Corey, <laughs> what if, this isn't going to be a roast, Caleb. Like, <laughs> what if his blessings go through raindrops? I don't know the rest of it. What if the purpose is perpendicular to the potential of your promise? Your purpose is perpendicular to your potential. Parallel to your predestined <laughs> path. Okay, so um, Kenya Viatoro, I knew it was Porter. She knew your silhouette. Kenya. She knew your silhouette. Uh, also, Christina on here did guess you as well, and okay. uh, I did not respond to that message because I didn't want to reveal, you know. So, um, but I'm glad y'all are on here. We're gonna really get into some very important things like watching dumb videos. <laughs> We, here's the thing. We want all about you, the dumb videos. Yeah, it's really about the dumb videos. We want y'all to. Um, we're gonna answer any questions that people ask within the next forty-five minutes to an hour. Okay. okay? So good. whatever y'all want to ask, you can ask theological um, about our personal lives, like what deodorants do we use and things like that. Anybody that wants to, if you want to know that. Um, we have that. We can give you that info, and then also we are going to answer. Um, we're going to all get. We're going to give our five reasons for um, why churches don't do fast songs anymore. Let's do it. And uh, while you guys are thinking up questions, so, um, and we're not going to tell each other what our top five reasons. No, are. Gonna, we have not talked about this at all. We haven't. So, so it's just going to be off like cuff. off the cuff. But first, we're going to watch some videos. Okay. So please enjoy this with us. Um, the the. Um, Closed captioning thought you said a mass pro hat, which would be <laughs> great, which would be great for, um, you know, Catholics that yes. uh, want to go fishing. I did not get to go to my barber before making this trip, so it's, it's, it's a hat day today. Yeah, so. also, no one said anything, but I accidentally shaved my beard off, so I have a little bit of... I, no one's seen me without a beard. People didn't I know. have not seen him with without. So, I've not seen his chin our entire yeah, 12 so years of friendship. Basically, we actually have two um, special guests today. One Porter, <laughs> the other my chin. So yes. um, He almost wasn't going to do the podcast. He literally told me not by the hair of his chinny chin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just, okay, so I had this razor. He was getting out of control. Like, my hair was looking like It was, it was looking, looking like, like like an alien being birthed out. And then, no, um, no it wasn't that bad. But, um, and then so I got, so I have this razor and it's like adjustable, man. It's got like all okay. these little, it's like a nice little adjustable thing. And I usually put it on like a seven, seven. whatever the seven out has, of out of 10. Okay. And then I just go, but it, like, I couldn't find the charger. Oh, is that like one of those charger. like wall like beard trimmer things or something? Yes, oh, but okay. it, it'll charge. It's wireless. It'll charge, and then it's wireless. But I couldn't find the charger since we moved, and um, it, but I just been running it like the battery lasted since. Man, <laughs> but I don't use. I use it like once every couple of weeks. Battery lasts like yeah. a Nokia phone that has like snake crazy. on it. <laughs> you can buy them at Walmart. They're uh, five, a five-in-one trimmer from. Uh, okay. I forget who it was, but um, About so twenty bucks. Or something. I just. Um, yeah, I, so I got I bought one the the new charger off of Amazon. So I come in and I just go I turn it I put it on seven and I clip the little thing on the, that adjusts up yeah. and down. But I didn't pay attention. It wasn't going up and down. 
and I just went, oh, and I was like, oh, no. then I walked in to my wife, and she was like, like she had seen a goat. She was laughing at me. I felt disrespected. I said, and first I was like, well, I can't do nothing about it. I was laughing about it. And then she just like took it a little too far. And I said, all right, now I'm mad. So you better shut up. Okay. I don't know which was worse, that or right after we moved to Clewiston, that first time you went to Sport Clips in Fort Lauderdale. Oh my gosh. You got they the shaved. Phil and Lil haircut. <laughs> they shaved my head so far up in the oh back gosh. that it was like, I literally like somebody took like a, doggone Hershey kiss and put it for my hair on top. The rest of it was shaved. And then on the on the back of my head, I had wrinkles. Like, I had these, like, squiggly lines from wrinkles right there. And my wife thinks I had brain surgery, but <laughs> as far as we know, I haven't. But I had this, like, <clears throat> it, they went way too hot from sports clips. Who was on a... Uh... Here you go, guys. Unless it's in, okay. not in focus. Um, yeah, that's bad. I don't know if it... It was kind of in focus. Um, that was really bad. But yeah, so, um, and then somebody, co never mind, I don't want to say that because the people are local. But I did go, I went to sports clips in town and in Florence and I had a little rough go. They, are, yeah. There's there's a, uh, a video of me preaching from Sumter and it's mm -hmm. like, I have a lot, they did the fade, but they didn't fade it. Oh. I have lines and somebody commented. You know what they also say though? It's a slow <laughs> fade when you give yourself away. It, it, Remember that one on Caleb? I don't know that one. Know. It's a slow fade when you give yourself away. What song is that? That's like a CCM song? I think Casting Crowns did that one too. God, they suck. I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, they put We're going to pray against critical spirit from my brother today. So we put, they, they had lines and then... Um, they crossed the line. Somebody commented on YouTube. They're like, this guy's haircut is messed up. And I said... Oh, it was one of those YouTube yeah, trolls. Yeah, I, like, I said something funny back. But uh, anyways, we're gonna watch some videos. Irregardless. Irregardless. <laughs> let me unmute so we can play the video. We oh, can yeah. Um, so um, here we go. It's just gonna pop up in the middle, so we're gonna okay. have to scoot over. I, I didn't set this up very well. Here we go, video one. Honest reaction. Lift my hands over Wait, we gotta come to, wait. <laughs> Lift it up to kick oh, it through. Wait, we can, and the everlasting oh, God shall walk in. Oh, yeah. Who it's is the King okay. of God? Yes. Who is the glory of God? Oh, in the Him is no failure, good. Good God. Lift yeah, my I'm hands over ye gates. Lift it up to kick it through. And the everlasting God shall walk in. Who is the King of God? Who is the glory of God? In the Him is no failure, God. Good God Almighty, I feel it today. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Do not miss. Your moment. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't miss his moment. Um, here we go. Okay, that's better. Okay. All right, there we go. Now, now, okay, we're good. We're good. That's where it was supposed oh, yeah. to be, but there we I, go. I, I screwed it up. Okay. Our view is like flip flopped. What? Yeah, we're mirrored. It actually is. So it's, yeah. it's hard to get used to. We have to think in reverse. Um, Lift my hands, oh ye gates. What do you think about the doctor? Lift it up the king of doors. And the yeah, ever lift it up the king of doors. Everlasting God shall walk in. Oh, the everlasting God shall walk in. Who is the king of God? Who is the king? <laughs> the king of God. It's the king of glory. <laughs> when you get yeah. your Bible off of Who is the glory of God? Who is the in the hymn is no failure, God. In the hymn is no failure, God. <laughs> Good God Almighty, says, I feel it today. Studying to show yourself approved and... Chris Al said she yes. miss you, teacher. Okay. Uh, oh, man. Me or Porter? It's you. It's, she had you. Probably. I did not have oh, you didn't have Chris Al? No, I did not. I tell Chris Al I miss her. Are y'all just not doing class and just watching us right now? Yes, yes. Lord. We thank right. you for his for life. His just life. put his heart in a blender, God. Make yeah. him a smoothie. Yes. 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 Put him in a blender? What, what's good about putting him in a blender? Yes, Lord, would you just like suplex Murphy. him <laughs> into the fount that is your glory, Father? Mm, yes, 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 suplex him. Yes. What are we talking about? Oh, Father, I just pray like a big feather to his stomach. Tickle him, Lord. Tickle him right now, Jesus. Tickle him. Tickle him? Tickle him? I thought we were praying for him. What's going on? What, what's the worst prayer you've heard? Weirdest prayer you've heard somebody pray? Um... What is the weirdest? What's, what's the weirdest prayer you've heard? I'm trying to think of one. I don't. I, I feel like I laugh at this because I've heard it so many times, but I'm, I can't think of one. Like, I really can't think of one off the top of my head right now. Can we? Can we just talk about something though, real quick though? Yeah. Bro, it's amazing how many people aren't taught or forget or don't know 
how to pray the word. Amen. I agree. But a lot of people just they just pray Father God a lot. Yes. Like Father God, Father God. We and just Father God, we, we just, just Father God. Just and Father God, we just Father God and Father God. We Father God. No. Like, okay, man. Like it's like they're trying to reach a word count. Yeah. It's a word salad, you know. Yeah, like but, whenever he had to write an essay, there was like 3,000 words, but then he had like 500 words. So you could, but the, the, you couldn't, look, if you wrote out most people's prayers on, a, on an essay, <laughs> it would say Father God like a thousand times. You know what, that's probably a good idea. Like if you, if you turn on like the dictation or whatever on like your phone whenever you pray, yeah. and then just like look Do a Father God at it. You know, Replace Father like, God randomly with our Lord and Savior, yes. <laughs> just different words. But for real, y'all, the word is what God actually moves off of with our prayers. So. Yes. You, oh, wait, what? Oh, what? Sorry. Playing it again. No, I was coming back to the widescreen. Um, yeah, so people pray, they don't pray the word. If you don't mm -hmm. pray the word, then you're praying, uh, you're just senseless nonsense. You're praying a miss. Senseless nonsense, mm -hmm. which literally yes. means the same thing. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I've heard people pray like stupid stuff like that, for mm -hmm. sure. Like, um, but some, and Fran, Miss Fran, is it your birthday? What? Is if it? If it's your birthday, I thought I saw something about it being her birthday, but I, I've been running, Happy so I didn't. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hey. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. How old are you, 25? All right, let's go back to watching video. She said, yes, sir. Oh, she said, yes, sir, so it she's 25. Birthday. Happy birthday, Miss Fran. Happy birthday, she's an awesome lady, thank you so much. That's awesome. Wait, what happened, what did I do? Oh, wait, I got the volume turned oh. on. The moment, okay, so I saw this video and I was like, okay. The moment you, the breakdown hits and your inner lion comes out for the Lord. Oh, it just, Lord. There's a lot going on here. One. Well, what's happening here? All right, we got every clip art line you can imagine. We have... Oh, we got Simba. Baby Simba, Simba, and we have the one from The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> but most importantly, we have Aslan. Oh, yeah. Aslan's on the Oh, yeah, you got to have Aslan. Uh, this whole song's about Aslan. You know yes, that. Absolutely. Like, basically, it's like... It's like God, obviously, you know, Jesus, you know... The Lord is number mm. one. You come down a few notches, you got, you got Paul. You come down like one step down, you got C.S. Lewis. <laughs> yeah, do you guys Some people would probably argue Charles Spurgeon, <laughs> but yes, C.S. Lewis is, is, is that guy. Um, I don't like any of his books, personally. Really? I've never read them. I loved the movie of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. That was cool. I just was like, bro, we couldn't watch Not with Witches, so... <laughs> we, couldn't, we couldn't. I mean, I couldn't either, but I was... I think I was grown whenever that came out, though. But it's just the symbolism, though, of like you know, defeating the devil, and yeah, for sure. rising from the dead, and that kind of thing. I got ninety-nine problems that a witch ate one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but the uh, the <laughs> witch, witch, though. The, okay. Uh, this, this. Um, I missed this guy right here. But <laughs> my hair is messed up. Um, uh, we were mirrored, so I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're so thrown. So off right. this video was posted by the church. The church posted this. Oh, they did. Yes. Oh. That makes it even funnier, right? I think. And the singing's not great, but, you know, whatever. Who am I to judge? Who are me to judge? Who are me to judge? This is to help you understand that if you do watching? not take this back, your children, as I preached about last week in my young childhood, gay was happy. He looks like Pastor Miles Rutherford. Nobody giggled and laughed more than these rebels sitting in front of me last Sunday when I said everybody in the world that says they're gay is a liar. They took the word and redefined it. In the history of humanity, gay has never He's meant right. homosexual. Gay has always meant happy. But they have right so the successfully comments, corrupted gay. it, polluted it, hijacked it, prostituted it, that our kids think gay is gay. But gay is 
not gay. I'm gay. I'm the gay gay. That's the fake gay. Because gay is happy. And I'm the happy gay. That's the fake gay. Please be seated. I can't go any further because some of my preachers dared me to come up with a t-shirt now that says I'm gay gay. <laughs> what? <laughs> so hopefully we won't um, get shut down for it. Uh, talking about gay people, Bro. but um, yeah. So what I would say is he has a point because there is a if you guys remember the Flintstone theme song. Oh yeah, this is why I have a gay old time. Yeah. So what? It was happening. Um, We're the Flintstones. Meet the Flintstones. The modern Spanish family from the town of bedrock. In a place right out of his story. I forgot the rest of the time. We'll have to do time. We'll have a gay old time. Okay, that's enough. And then also, you know. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Da 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 da. Tis the season. Wait, don't they say something about being gay on that? Don, we now no, are gay, gay apparel. And we yeah. used to joke around and say, Don is now gay with Harold. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Don't worry. Come Sorry. On, bro. Um, do you, we need to watch that video again or no? No, I think. Okay. I think everybody caught that. Yeah, I think we got it. Speaking open of. Open your mouth. <laughs> no, open it. Uh, say ah. Uh. What's he about to do? Come on. Stick your tongue out. Cameras went off immediately. Cut the live stream! Bro, these... People... <laughs> oh, man, people do the strangest stuff and blame it on the Holy Ghost. Man. Oh, yeah. It's and you know, the, the other thing that you got to realize is that had to taste terrible. Like a like a must a, a combination of a of a musty hand. Well, first of all, let's get it. Let's get it open your mouth. Was that annoying? Yeah, no. Open it. Ah. Uh, so you got say ah. Uh, mixed with <laughs> a musty hand, mixed with um, air freshener. You know they put that frankincense. Stick in your there. tongue oh, yeah. out. There we go. Even before COVID, absolutely not. Yeah, no, I would, I would have to ask a little. Like mm -hmm. I, I, I reacted no. to this one uh, on Monday on the podcast, but yeah. I, I, I didn't watch it. Yeah, that, and and I'm offended, but I'm sorry. The, the, <laughs> no, I, I. Here's the thing. So, um, like I, I just said, if the Lord told me to do that, even if the Lord told me to do that, I would just, I would have to repent later. Because I wouldn't do Because you that. wouldn't do it. You'd be in disobedience. Yeah. I'd be, I'd be I'm not sure the Lord would tell you to do that. Yeah, I don't think so. But Jesus did spit in that guy's eyes, remember? Yeah, but he didn't sh shove his hand down his mouth. I'm well, like, there were many miracles we didn't know about, Porter. You're too religious. <laughs> Let's do life together. Do life together. Do life together. Just do life together. Doing life together. Do life together. Let's do life together. We do life together. Do life together. Do life together. They did life together. Life together. Do life together. Do life together. Do life together. We need to do life together. Let's do life together. Hey, can we can we get a new phrase in the comments for doing life together? Yes, let's take a poll. How let's see, I don't know. Let's Why why life. does it have to be spent? why can't we just say we just love to hang out? Yeah. You know, because like even, love, there's so many cliches. I would rather even take it back to the old school. We want to form fellowship with you. What does fellowship even mean? Okay, it means for, doing life together. <laughs> <laughs> but Loki, the, every time I hear somebody talking about we're just gonna get together and fellowship, like I always think of like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> we're going fellowship to the fellowship. <laughs> that's like the first thing. The possible. fellowship of the chat. We're just gonna get together and eat. Like that's. That's what. That's basically what it that's is. What it because is. that's lame fellowship. What you like doing life together, babe? Give us a new t thing. We got 16 people watching. Hey. Whoa! All right. What is okay for real though? Like, what does that even mean to, to do, do, life? do life together? Like, just every aspect. Like, like so. Like, you're you're you wake up in the morning. You're <laughs> you're brushing your teeth. Your pastor pops his head out the toilet. Hey guys. He's like, what's up? Yeah. Oh no, we have a guest. Oh, we do have a guest. What are you gonna walking do? in? Hey guys, why don't we just hang out? That's lame. Can y'all hear her? <laughs> Bismarck, how you doing, man? Bismarck. 
You got anything better? Yes. You'd like to say do life? We do life together. Like say we do life no, together. Come do life with us. We spend time together. That's what churches together. do. Churches are like, come do life with us. Come. Do life with us. This is creepy. But I want to do life with you. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna have to put a ring on this thing before you do life with me. Okay, let's see. You're doing life with me for eternity. You understand? <laughs> Get out. <laughs> and if you're offended, too bad, because you said tell death do us part. You did, though. One of us can die. <laughs> That's not what's confessing. <laughs> life and death is in the power of the she power of grace. She was threatening to kill me. Speak life. You know what that reminded me? I think this is so funny. Obviously, this happened at a youth group, and they're just, they're trying to get. So, why well, you gotta be careful with these like costume nights or whatever? Like, oh yeah, we did the the, um, <laughs> the lip sync battle, and oh yeah, man, we had people worshiping, dressed up like <gasps> all kinds oh, of crazy people. We should. Oh wait, copyright. We should have done a SpongeBob lip sync. Oh, we could have done sake. a Sponge, Yeah. Man. We, I mean. Awesome. Yeah, we certain stuff it won't copyright. It's just like okay. I don't know. We'll have to figure it Next out. Next time. No, but you know what that reminded me of? Did you ever remember this old rock and only song called The Winner Man? No. <laughs> it's a Caribbean one. It's like Jesus is the winner man, the winner man, the winner man. Jesus is the winner man, the winner man all the time. And then he's like trying to get them to say it. On the recording it said so he's the winner. No, not the wiener. <laughs> this not not Oscar <laughs> Mayer. <laughs> so then all the kids like in kids church growing up when they heard it would it be like he's the wiener man. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have like, the wiener no. man. This is the he showed up in church he got finally. Some, I was just thinking the other day, what if the wiener man got saved? <laughs> he starts singing. I was praise. thinking the other day, what, what if, if cartoons got saved? <laughs> they start singing praise. <laughs> this is for all all you corny Christians out there, yes. we we love you. We love you. If you grew up, absolutely. If you grew up on Veggie Tales, if you sang, uh, "What if cartoons got saved?" If you been to hold. over seventeen Casting Crowns concerts, if you sang "Hold Me Jesus," I'm shaking like a leaf. If you if you sang that with white gloves and a black light, then <laughs> <laughs> if you hey. did a human video to a Lifehouse song. <laughs> We love you. <laughs> and cardboard testimonies too. Cardboard te yes. yes, exactly. If you um, if you ever done Ooga Booga in a youth group and sat on a sponge, like we're talking about you. Yes. Oh, well, we got Cal Bishop Chris Daigle is yep. watching us. Yep. The honorable bishop. And Miss Dunn on here. Hi, Pastor Corey Hi, and Porter. Kid. And we got Mr. Craig Pelham. <gasps> Craig, the Craig, the Craig. You Meister. made your famous potato soup the other day, sir, and it made me miss that so much. Not as much as I miss you guys, because you gave us free food. But yeah, it's all about the you. fellowship and doing life together. It's <laughs> exactly. not even about the potato salad. No, it's not. So, and and listen. Oh, Jeffrey Willis is watching now. Jeffrey on. So mad I wasn't invited. You can fly to South Carolina and get on here. Just exactly. Top we'll of the be, teleporter. We only got a couple more minutes left, but if you want to teleport, go for exactly. it. Exactly. All right, here we go. Let's see. We got three more videos. Three more? Oh, man. This is my favorite new video. Guest, first time guest. Put our campus to the test. Scan the QR code and check in, and we'll spam you all the rest. Flashing lights, choking fog. We do all of this for God. Try our coffee. It is lukewarm. Don't believe me. Ask our interns. First we sing, then we sit, then two people yap a bit. Every Sunday experience is a hit. It. Go on, open your wallet and give us 10%. Be our guest, be our guest, first time guest. Lights go dim, screen comes down, feel the good vibes all around. There's our pastor on the big screen from the main campus across town. Just relax and endure his misusing of scripture. I'm on staff, I'm not complaining. Our pastor is entertaining. Are we non denalo You bet. But we used to be Baptist. Now we're the fastest growing church in the U.S. Come on, become a member. We'll do life together. Be our guest if you're stressed. Volunteer and serve, I suggest. Be our guest, be our guest. First time guest.
Good stuff, man. That guy's funny. You know he's actually from Florence. What? Yes, Shama. Can we get him on the podcast? He and Chris were actually um, classmates together at um, Christian Hall? Assembly. Christian Assembly? Wow. Yep. That's crazy. Yes. Wow. I got to meet him at Chris's graduation party. Man, he's like really college. growing up now. I think he's one he of is. the funniest ones. He's about I think to, he's in him, Greenville now. Him and John and Chris are about to like, he's about to take out yes. John and Chris, bro. He is. Wait, oh, I have the volume. Oh. I had to turn it down. What was this one? I remember seeing it somewhere. Let's see. <laughs> Come on, everybody, lift your hands. <laughs> I'm careful of this. That's all he wants. He just wants to sort out of shot. You know why? Because you did it. Tell the Lord, you did it. When you didn't know how you was going to make it, God did it. Come on, quiet, can you help him sing it? Come on. If he can use a bird. Because you know what? <laughs> All God's critters. <laughs> I was thinking about God I in the choir. I couldn't remember. Y'all know that song? All, All God's, God's critters got God a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on, on the, the telephone wire. Some <laughs> just clap <laughs> their hands or paws. <laughs> God, no. Good old Sunday school songs. Man. They clap their hands or it's paws, or paws or anything they got. I know the, the, so our our Sunday school, we had to do some just clap their hands or <laughs> hands or paws or anything they got. That, that was the best that was, church that can, You can't do that in 2020. No, you can't. You can't, you can't. Trump did that and got in trouble. <laughs> and that speech. Anyways, all right. Um, oh, all right, what man. we got? Oh, wait, we did that one. Yeah, we just Oh, we got one. two more. Two more. We're done. Wait, oh, I'm lost. This is Katy Perry before she was Christian. We're going to rate it as a good worship song or not. We'll oh, never choose to be so free. Yeah. Only reason not to live is Christ come down and die for you and me. I live because Christ died. And though he has suffered, he suffered it all for me. Yeah, that's Katy Perry, y'all. Never choose to be free. Yeah. Only reason not to live. Yeah. Christ can you know what that reminds me of? This song. The video of that kid doing God is doing a new, new thing. thing. New. <laughs> you know, she kind of gives off like uh, yeah. some of those, uh, some of those '90s like Christian pop singer vibes. Mm -hmm. Like, what? What do you um? Uh, like, I'm trying to think of some of those groups, like, not Out of Eden, that's a little more gospel. Oh, yeah, Maybe yeah. like a... Avalon. Maybe Avalon, yeah. Yeah. Or FFH. Yes, FFH. <laughs> or, um, yeah. Probably. Angie is... Mama Angie's point, out! Point of Grace. Those point of Grace, those that's those good, yes. Yeah. All right, this is the last video. I don't even remember what it was. Power! Power! Oh, yeah, Looser, loose. Come on, bless her. Come on, bless her. Oh, not the monster claw. The enemy tried to keep you in bondage, but I want to let you know right now, you're free. Yeah, Okay. All right. And y'all just saw my shorts. So. Yeah. Hey. Hello, Mama Angie. All right. Listen. Hey, Miss Ross. See you so, all right. We are taking whatever questions y'all want to ask. Yes. All right. In the meantime, me, that's our last video. Yes. But me and 
uh, past reporter. So tell us a little bit about that. So people don't know the people that don't know you that know me. <laughs> tell us a little bit about yourself. Let's see. You're you're I feel like you're in uh, West Palm I Beach am. right now. West Palm Beach, Florida. All right, tell us about that. Is it hot there? It is about 10 degrees warmer than it is here right now. Oh, wow, wow. So it's it's, it's about 400 hot. degrees. Okay, cool. Okay. Yes, exactly. So um, you guys, uh, what, is, what is the church you're affiliated with? Is it Bab what Bab First Baptist, Second Baptist? We are actually Faith Coast Church. Faith Coast, Coast. No coast like Faith Coast, hey, as we say. Faith Coast. Pastor coast Whitney and Pastor coast. Jen Shipp Shipman. My... Amazing pastors that I love, and I wonder if you're watching it, and Period. I wonder if you still want me to be on staff after seeing this video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, listen, yes. just y'all can don't share this with anybody. Oh I, if gosh. I got listen, I will vouch for him. I was the bad influence. Okay. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, too, especially Faith Coast fam, too, this is my longtime brother Corey Scarlett. We shared an office together for almost four years at New Harvest Church. Yes. And I had to go through um, deliverance and healing and counseling and therapy. After, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but for those of you who know how my appreciation for situational dad jokes, this I'm is a, my spiritual father for that. I'm so. a situational dad. Yes, he is. He's a whole situation. So I'm a whole situation. You know, there's a term that the Mine's, kids the kids use now. Oh, yours. Oh, mine's working. Okay, yours is just fine. the internet. Okay. A little bit off. So the kids use this term, Here we go. a situation ship. So like if you're like, you were trying to talk to somebody and it was like that an issue, sound. they call it a situation ship. Uh, That's okay. I knew your mystery have. guest. Who doesn't know Porter? Coolest worship pastor is Pastor Porter Sheer. Y'all been in those fermented communion cups? <laughs> no, <laughs> this is just the, the joy this is of the joy. Of the Lord. Lord. Ah, yes. 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 If you want to know, which actually I will go ahead and say. That everything, this Communion man of God, different this man of God did a great podcast about drinking, whether wow. it's a sin or not. And I'm going to do a shameless plug for that. That is probably one of the best explanations I've ever heard. Oh, thank you, on sir. That as well. So, as someone yes. who can, I echo his thoughts. And as someone who can barely stomach Listerine if it goes down the wrong pipe, you know, yeah. when you're doing mouthwash, you know. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just playing. No. Um, but no, there is a good podcast out there. Yes. But um, so here's what. If y'all can ask any question, we'll try to answer it. Theological, yes. again, like I said, uh, things like what's your favorite color or um, have you ever been in a fight in middle school? You know, stuff like, stuff like that. And the answer is no. But, um, Porter, have you ever been in a fight in middle I, school? Okay, so I did get mad at this one person who was making fun of me in middle school. And then we were on the playground outside. And then I found a kickball. And he turned around and I went to pelt it at the back of his head and then it just went over his head and I missed. <laughs> <laughs> then I laughed and then that was the only like, thing that he came He turned around like, what was that? And you're like, oh no. Just, he didn't even turn around, he just kept walking. And so then it's like, well, that's it. So All right. we're lovers, not fighters. So Yeah, we don't, you know. So we're gonna give our, actually, We just whoop the devil instead. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna write this down. This is the, this is the topic we're gonna say okay. right here. So this is um, why don't Churches do as many fast songs anymore. That is a great topic. Now, at Faith Coast, y'all know we are all about some high praise. High praise. And sometimes we probably do even more praise than we do worship, oh, actually. That's, that's but, cool. You know, okay, yeah. so we're going to give our top five reasons on why we think. And we haven't told each other what they are. No. So we will let... You want to go first? I'm going to let you start first. Let me start first. Yeah. Okay. I will say because people have gotten way too comfortable yeah, in good. church because, and I, I think a lot of it's rooted, really, because there was a time I'm where just there gonna was. Get, I'm just going to get comfortable. Okay. All right. I'm not going to be that. <laughs> Such a goober. But anyways, the, but seriously, 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 yeah, seriously, seriously, try seriously, to get seriously dope, serious. seriously dope. So like, okay, you had... There was a time where there was a lot of praise yeah. that was happening. High praise. I mean, people dancing before the Lord, people jumping, people shouting, people like just being unashamed, you know, like David dancing before the Lord with all his might. But then we had a message that came in that I believe there was, there's a slight revelation in it, but it got swung to the, un, to the other side of the pendulum, which was the grace message. Mm. 
to where people then used grace as like a license to sin and just live however they wanted to. Mm -hmm. And so then now holiness now was pretty much thrown out the church and like anything that had to do with like crucifying the flesh, denying the flesh, putting the yeah. flesh under. Because one of the things that we were talking about this last night, though, was, you know, the Bible says you enter his gates with thanksgiving and you come into his courts with praise. And now because the veil was torn, you can enter the Holy of Holies with worship. And a lot of people want to go straight into worship without bypass or with bypassing thanksgiving and praise. Yeah. But what happened in the outer court was you had, it was the altar of sacrifice, so where they do animal sacrifices, so what are you doing? You're killing the sacrifice. flesh. So the praise is the dimension where flesh has to die. So then a lot of people don't want their flesh to die. They want to be led by their flesh and not by the spirit. And so this is when it's like, it's, and again, it's not a sacrifice if it's comfortable. Right, and, and people have become comfortable with even, like, okay, so there was a time for people where lifting hands was uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But there, I think there is people that now they've they've got that whole motion down, and I've I've been there sometimes. Like, okay, yeah, we just chilling. Like, I'm gonna lift my hands, and like, I'm not even. I'm focused on something else. You know, like the the motions. But when it comes to praise, like, and people, they, like, they, they, all right. Let me let me back up. They in worship, they just know they can just lift their hands like this. They can do a little thing, and like, they're like not even there mentally. Some of them don't like, even aren't even into worship. It's all about soaking. Right. They just you sit know? there. Yeah. And there's like no and and yeah what if you wanna if you wanna play that in the background and pray or whatever all that's cool right yeah but like um, I think the praise like exactly what you said so it it causes you to um, it causes you to crucify your flesh and do something in it's a sacrifice like you said and people, so number one reason that people don't want to give a sacrifice they don't want to give a sacrifice so they want to just chill mm -hmm. and. Um, one of, one of my reasons, I was going to put a funny reason in. Um, people are, okay, I'll give you my, my reason because it kind of okay. ties off of yours, but it's a okay. little more comedic. When so, is it never comedic <laughs> with you? I think there's a correlation with the legalization of marijuana in certain states. And no, I'm just kidding. No, people are too chill. They yeah. want to be, like, they're too, and they're too concerned about what other people think about Yes, it. that's another one. So, so they're too concerned with other people. They're, they're, they're too, ch they're chilled out. So they, like, don't want to do anything that's uncomfortable, which ties off what mm -hmm. uh, Pastor Porter was saying. And then they're just, like, so you can come in and just chill and worship, and there's no effort that you have to put forth. In yeah. praise, you have to at least clap a hand. And, you know, it, but it shakes, like you said, it shakes off the flesh and you get in. I feel like people have stopped from leadership because the church has become comfortable without doing it. So they made those that praise hard feel like, oh, yeah, and there is, oh, that's a good Oh, one. that's the whole thing because it don't take all that. Yeah, yeah. And that's back to, you know, it's funny, like that was just basically religious or like bab, like denominational churches like Baptists would be like, okay, I don't need anybody raising hands or clapping in church, mm -hmm. like the traditional. And now that even that is creeping into more charismatic and Pentecostal churches yeah. where they're judging other people because they have broken outside of the norm of even yeah. a charismatic church. Well, can I also bring or bring something to the table too that a lot of people don't talk about is you also have the flip side now to where Baptist churches are starting to raise their hands more. Yeah. And now and now they're taking on non-denominational things to where you're actually seeing more people now leaving the charismatic and the Pentecostal churches for these thinking that they are right. when they're not. Yeah, yeah. And and this is no slight towards bad. No, absolutely you know, not. We're on the same page for the most part. It's we just, just believe like, in the full gospel. Right. And and it's, you know, people think based on just praise and worship that they're mm -hmm. in a spirit-filled church. Yeah. But they're not. They're mm -hmm. in a denominational church that rebranded. Mm -hmm. It's know. amazing, too, just like how many spirit-filled churches don't even pray or sing in the spirit at all in praise and worship. Anymore. They don't, so you wouldn't even know. You wouldn't know if they believe in tongues or not because no. they don't want to make people com uh, uncomfortable. uncomfortable. And it's like, to me, it's always like people would believe that, or they, they put, they'll say stuff like this, we just want to preach Jesus for the people on Sunday morning. We'll do a Wednesday night. We might have a little revival, a little prayer service or something like that. Mm -hmm. We do a little fire Or an that encounter night, night or yeah, a fire night. Yeah, set a separate... One hour one service a once a month to do a thing, but Sunday morning we gonna just just preach Jesus, mm -hmm. as if the Holy Spirit and Jesus are in this battle where they're like, yeah. you know, the Holy Spirit is trying to go crazy in a church and make something mm -hmm. wild happen, yeah. and Jesus is like, hey, hold on, hold on, we just want to get right. people saved and teach them, like, like they don't work together. I think it, it sounds so stupid when you think about it, like it makes no sense. Well, can I also throw this in there too? Like, you know, the Bible, even just with that, 
you know, is the a purpose of the church, if you look in Ephesians 4.11, when it says, you know, God gave, or Jesus gave some to be apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers, and evangelists for the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry. Yeah. So when we come to church, we're actually supposed to come to be equipped in the things of the Spirit and to be equipped for ministry. Yeah. So yes, we preach the gospel for people to get saved, but it's not all just for the lost. It's also for the equipping of the saints right, too. Right, right. So it's, 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 and, and even tongues is supposed to be a sign for the unbeliever too. Mm -hmm. So like, which almost to me, I, I that puzzles me a little bit, I, you know, yeah. that I feel like that's like, that's in the Christian spirit field club. That's not for the unbelievers, but that's what that's the scriptures like, These say. signs shall follow them right. that it's belief. It's a sign. That, yeah. So anyways, um, somebody Jesus wrote, well, I want, yeah. I do want to say this. Yeah. We're we'll not knocking worship. I mean, Porter's a, he's, he's, oh, he has a great teaching on, Thank you, Lord. uh, Thanksgiving praise coming into worship and even going further than that. Um, but so we're not knocking worship, but we we're just basically talking about how churches have got away from in general because of we're trying to figure out the reasons why we think they have. So um, mm -hmm. we said you said no sacrifice. I said they they want to be too chill. They want to be too cool. Like that's we're what concerned I was about what people like, think. Concerned about other people's opinion. Mm -hmm. All right, give us another reason. What we got? Well, we had a third one that you said too, which was I threw the one um, in there. What was it? If you can write in the comments what the third the weed, one was. The thing about the marijuana? No, that was, <laughs> no. <laughs> Since but, marijuana got legalized in certain exactly. places, no, people are taking CBD before they come to church. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, that's one way to get rid of the spirit of happiness, though. But yeah. <laughs> not a good way to do it. No, that's another way. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Oh, people yeah. carry their, okay. So the Bible says, throw on a garment of praise for a spirit of heaviness. And I feel like some people carry their heaviness into the worship realm and they they've because they've skipped praise they still worship god but um they you know what i'm saying they're still in a depression they're still in a funk when they leave because they skip what the bible prescribed as a come on as a uh it's a, key. a the i want to say medicine it's for depression it's yeah. the end of is praise you put the praise the garment of praise on before a spirit of heaviness you don't just carry that spirit of heaviness into you know your worship songs, mm -hmm. um, so I think some people skip that too, and they, and, and and you wonder why they're the same ones at the altar every single week, crying over the same issue because they don't get free from it because they never was given the key that unlocks yes the the cuffs and right. the chains off of them. So they're, they're still walking with the heaviness even in um, in in the worship. Like you can you carry the heaviness. You still worship God. You still got a good word, but you never biblically got rid of your heaviness because mm -mm. Um, you didn't praise it off. Yeah. So anyways, so that'll be a I good... I just wish that worked for weight loss in the natural, though. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it can. If you praise long enough, you lose some weight. Yes. Uh, give, give us one. Uh, so, like, um, but, that, but that's one of the... Well, I'm, let, me, let me expand on something real quick, though, okay. before we go to another reason. Go ahead. So, just like you talked about, you know, with Thanksgiving, praise, and with worship. So... Worship is the dimension, of course, where the presence of God is really fully manifest and experienced because, you know, we had the tabernacle and the temple. The Holy of Holies was where the Ark of the Covenant was, which was yeah. the physical representation of the presence of God. And so now anyone can come into that. But most importantly, we're now the temple of the Holy Spirit. So we have the Holy of Holies and the presence of God in us. But the thing is, the Bible says that God is looking for those who worship him in spirit and in truth, not in flesh. Right. So in order to be the worshiper that God is looking for, the flesh has to die, yeah. which is done in the dimension of praise. So then praise is the key that unlocks the door into worship. You know, that's like one of the things that I know one of your former pastors said that I still love to this day is the higher you go in praise, the deeper you can go in worship. Because yeah. like, if you're just going to jump off and go here, that's only so deep. But if you're able to go up, and then back yeah, down, good. then there's a greater depth. So then praise actually deepens your worship. Yeah. And so people wondering why they feel stuck in worship and why they're not seeing dimensions in the spirit accessed is because of the fact that they haven't unlocked the door of praise. Because like, okay, for example, this space that we're recording this podcast in, there's like a breezeway in between with two different doors. We could doors. use a breeze. It's a little warm. But uh, we on. could use it. But <laughs> thankfully, it's not as cold, as warm as South Florida. Praise the <laughs> Lord. But anyways, then there's this other room on the other side of this breezeway 
but I can't just poof from here into that other room. I have to go through this other space. Yep. But also the door could be locked, but I can't go into and you have people who are trying to like rebuke doors down, shout doors down and all this different stuff when God's just saying, put your key. Yeah, oh, that's good. All you gotta do is put the key of praise into the door of worship and that unlocks the supernatural. That's good, I like that. Tell, so briefly, cause I know you got a lot on this. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna take up too much of the time. No, but of course not. But praise and worship is not based on the speed of the song mm -hmm. either. No. Uh, you know, so there can be songs that are slower that are praise songs. There can be songs that are faster that are worship songs. Absolutely. Too. So what, um, what defines between the two? Give us your... S simply put, it's actually the lyrics. Okay. So, because pray, and also the posture of your heart too, but mostly the lyrics, because praise is you're describing the acts, works, characteristics, deeds, and attributes of God. Worship, you're ascribing honor, worth, adoration, and love to the Lord. So praise is to describe, worship is to ascribe. Okay. So, um, you know, one of the Corey's, Pastor Corey's heard me use this example 50 million thousand times, but yes, he already knew what to do. But I'm not gonna actually do it with it. There's him. nothing in. There's nothing in. Okay. There. But like, okay, so he's holding this Celsius bottle or can. All right. So I'm I'm more partial to Fahrenheit. I'm just kidding. So, <laughs> anyways, so you have this can. I'm not taking a drink out of it, nor am I going to take a drink out of it. But like, uh, well, actually, let me do this. Let me flip it. So, Pastor Corey, describe that can for me by not so like what, drinking the, it. The, by not just the can. Just the can. Okay. So the can it says Celsius on it. it has grapes. They. Um, shiny, really nice design, um, a lot of silver, um, really glossy, has a lot of details about a scientific study mm -hmm. that probably never happened and how you're going to lose weight if you drink it. Um, and then all the ingredients. Um, and yes. it's black on top, which is really unique and pretty cool. Okay. So you were able to describe that, but did you take a drink out of it yet? Uh, not yet. No. Okay. So pretend that there's Celsius in here and you've been, okay. Chug, 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 chug. I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow. This tastes like... Great medicine, and it's horrible. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, this wasn't that. This is not the best flavor, but um, it, it tastes a little bit like grapes, um, and it's fizzy. But it's got a nasty little aftertaste. So okay, but let's say okay, you were dragging, your energy was getting slow, and then now after taking Celsius, even though it did taste like that, it gave me a boost, and that's why I'm on a hundred and a thousand percent right now. Okay, right. so you would say in essence you had that experience, now you can actually give it worth. Yeah, I would life. say it's worth two to 250, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> okay. No, but I get what you're saying, it, it's, it's, worth, it's worth investing in if you need a boost. Yes, so, okay. okay, anyone can describe God, anyone can praise God, yeah. but only those who know him can worship. can worship him, because now you can ascribe him worth. But also one of the things that we've done kind of as a disservice is we think just because the song is vertical that automatically makes it worship. Because mm -hmm. there's so many songs that we think are even worship that are not. It's like worship is not about how I feel mm -hmm. or, you know, I was in the deepest despair of the darkest cavern of my soul and I was headed on the way to the ditch on the side of the road and now you're gonna insert a, bag a country of bones. song. A, a bag, bag of bones. I'm a vagabond and a bag of bones and all this a negative confession. A bucket of <laughs> KFC, KFC been old out. bones from Exactly. No, so, you know, with all that, and, and it's not degrading yourself, it's not declaring yeah. It's not even saying, God, I want this. God, I want that. Okay, no. Your worship is all about him. It's all for him and it's all into him. So it's the lyrics that actually make it. So, so many times, I guarantee you, if you take a look at your set list, when you think you're about like, oh, it's all about worship and not about praise, I would bet you money, if you look at your set list for an entire month, there'll probably maybe be one or two songs out of the entire month that, that are, are by definition worship. worship. Yeah. So you're actually defending a dimension that you don't even experience yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because of ignorance. Right. Right. No, it's, it's, that's good. That's really good. So, um, in, in short, it's, what are the lyrics actually saying? You know, okay, it so, has nothing to do with the, the feel of the song. No. So, okay. So like example is cause praise you're describing the acts that the things God does. Mm -hmm. Okay. And descriptions of like what is based without interaction. Yeah, so yeah. like if you're saying that he's a way maker, he's a promise keeper, he's, 
um, you know, he's strong, he's mighty, he's, okay, it's like, it's what you're going after his hands, yeah. whereas worship goes after his heart. Okay. So worship, when you look at what's happening around the throne in heaven, they're saying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The earth is filled with his glory. Worthy is the lamb that was able to open the scroll and break the seven seals. Now unto him be blessing, glory, honor, power, strength. So you're, you're not going after the things that he does. You know, it's like- You're just focused solely on him, yeah. basically, and his, but would you, and I'm not trying to, I'm yeah. just playing devil's advocate. Absolutely. No, I'm playing the Lord just. Well, we're going to whoop the devil anyway, so. <laughs> On this here podcast. Uh, so if if he is, and so like Jehovah Jireh is, he's a provider, right? Mm -hmm. Or Jehovah Nisi, you know, all these names that are, that describe God, but they also describe things he does. Like it's his name and it's what he does when, when we do. When we praise that part of God or worship that part of mm -hmm. God, would that be considered worship, praise, some kind of combination of the both? Because it's like actually- Some things can be combo, but it, and that's where the, like for example, okay. When we talk about Waymaker, and I'm not knocking the song, but- I love the song, it's one of my favorites. Whenever it's almost, it's starting to become the new oceans, but <laughs> anyway, so. Um, <laughs> I can't, I, but anyways, I'm a slight rant on oceans. Yes. I, I always think about some old crusty feet. <laughs> what? Where feet may fail. <laughs> I just think about somebody's tired old feet walk, wading through the water. Like, <laughs> never I, thought of that. I'm not like, no. I, I'm, yeah. anyways. But no, but so like for Waymaker, okay, if we're doing an honest assessment of why a lot of people sing it, it's because of the fact that. They have promises, there's miracles that they're holding on to, and you're taught you gotta worship for your breakthrough or praise for your miracle, and so you're actually doing it to manipulate the hand of God because you're frustrated with his timing and your miracle not happening now versus singing it from a place of testimony with the Lord like, God, I have experienced your faithfulness as making miracles for me, as, you know, keeping your promises as being that light in the darkness. So now I ascribe worth for who you are in my life as being that. And so I worship you because of experiencing that for myself. So it's, it's the motive of the heart that also determines, yes. you know, the difference. This is Porter. Oh crap. I hit the, this is Porter Sear. Yes. This is Porter Sear. Somebody asked, is that yes, not Parker yes. cry Porter Sear. Um, but would you be declaring that in faith potentially if you haven't experienced it? Yeah, Would I mean, you'd be, be declaring like, it in faith, but that's the thing is then by that, you're actually taking it into another dimension that's not worship. You're moving it into praise, declaration. declaration. Well, actually, declaration. I wouldn't even say praise. It would okay. be a declaration because you're declaring by faith. So and there's a time and a place for that. And Porter, Porter has broken songs down into different categories, and he's going to write a book or do a video or something. Other things. He's going to do a lot of things. To be announced things. soon. To be announced so. soon. I'm just going to make sure he does it. Um, Please make sure I do it. Let's see. I don't want to. I don't keep you too long. I let's see. Uh, I did have another thing I was going to bring up. Yeah. And that was that um, we're talking about oh, why. I go got ahead. One, I got go one ahead. More Throw reason. your thing in there. I got. This is more from a musical standpoint. Is because typically praise songs can be harder to play. I was going to say that. that musically. Was one of mine I was going to say. Oh yeah. Because people, on musicians as are, a, as a former MD, musicians on. are, you're, you're trying, in a church, you're trying to get everybody that can play as possible. Mm -hmm. When I grew up playing, and Porter as well, you had to learn these hard songs that you, or you didn't play. Yes. You know, uh, and not and everything pushed, was the number system either. It put, yeah, it was not all the numbers because we, you'd run out of numbers at <laughs> some of those songs. But, you know, we grew Minor up, flat fives, right. B knuckle seven. B knuckle seven. <laughs> But the songs were like more difficult to learn and it made better skilled musicians. Uh, nowadays, they're focused more on the sonic colors of the production of it, which is fine, whatever. You know, you want both of that, but like- well, They let synthesizers do all the work for yeah, it. Yeah, and the, they'll just program it all and you can use tracks and all that stuff. And those things are good. We love tracks because I mean, it, makes, it does make you a better musician. Yes. I mean, when you pull the track out and uh, you can't play on, you know, and, and you start trying to play with people that aren't, aren't used to playing with tracks, and mm -hmm. you realize how how their tempo is going up and down. And yep. it really affects. It'll affect the service too. People don't realize that people have a, like 
you do a song, it's fast, and it's and people are pumping with it, and then it, like it slows down because somebody couldn't. Yeah, keep like the at the end, you're doing like I think the master. And I people think are like subconsciously, you're... people are kind of. Or my favorite, or my favorite timing. Too. I think the master. I think the savior. I think God. <laughs> <laughs> it's like SpongeBob trying to. Yeah right. <laughs> okay. Um, Insert that Jeff. But no, but so like it's harder to play, and also it's harder yeah. to learn. And some of those songs didn't have chord charts. True. Nowadays, most of them have chord charts. You can find mm -hmm. a chord chart for something. Yes. But um, you didn't have any resources. You had to learn that stuff. Mm -hmm. It was wild. So, and people don't want to do that. And you're trying to get like non-professional musicians to get better. So there's a benefit of it, but also um, in in some extent because you're getting you're able to play the songs. But it is harder. And then I think this too. Like for instance, and I I, I could I was going to use elevation, but as an example, but Roger said just transpose to C for everything. Chris <laughs> Tomlin is a mul oh my gosh. <laughs> but like. Uh, it's funny to me, like praise by uh, Elevation blew up so big because yes. I think people were so hungry you mean for Evelation. For Evelation, the most re relevant <laughs> worship group. Inside jokes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it blew up so big because I think people were hungry to praise God. Yeah. And it just like, especially young people. Because well, there's such a void now, and then people are starting to see the dimensions of it, but it's like, you know, yeah. we're not filling that hunger. Anymore. And they, they've got like, Lately, them being what they're probably the most influential group right now. I would mm -hmm. argue, arguably, absolutely. Them um, and Maverick City, and Ma yeah, and, and Maverick City pulled back from a lot of upbeat songs recently. Mm -hmm. I mean, they would always have at least one or two in there, and yeah. now it's all you know. And what if you want the album to be that? That's fine, but like, well, a lot of stuff is just, and I'm we're not knocking people by any means at all, but it's just, but just like just the culture of. It's not even worship, but it's just like a lot of stuff. It's just stuck in like how I feel, and right, people right. want, and it keeps people in their feelings. Yeah, and then they don't cast those on the Lord. Yeah, and then they stay stuck in cycles. Yeah, instead of experiencing the freedom and the joy of the Lord. I mean, the Bible says where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Not holding on to your yeah your anxiety and holding on to your emotions and oh justifying what. Was there spider or something? It was a spider. <laughs> what? Was At a first I spider. thought you were catching a Holy Ghost. You? Hallelujah! I didn't curse y'all. Okay. Praise um, the Lord. But yeah, like they, so they have like, going back to um, one of their one of their more popular albums, yeah. uh, Hallelujah Here Below, mm -hmm. they had like one that I would consider an actual like upbeat song. The rest, there's a lot of mid-tempo stuff. Which one was that? Echo? Uh, Echo. Yeah. And that was still even like a groove song. Yeah. And it's, then people will even consider um, "Won't Stop Now" to be upbeat, but that's really like mid-tempo. Right. So like for like I think there's something about a driving song that just yes. you know. Uh, but and I'm not what knocking happened them. What happened to Planet they, Shakers, man? And Planet like, Shakers Israel still they and, still put music out, but nobody's they're not people aren't rocking with it like you know they who used actually to. in like in CCM though is actually starting to put out some pretty solid um, upbeat stuff though is um, the Belonging Co. Yes, they are doing some really good stuff. They do have some good ones. Belonging Cope. So there is, mm -hmm. there is, it's coming back around. People yeah. are adding it. Because there was a period of time, probably between like 2015 mm -hmm. and 2020 or yeah. 2021, 2022, there was like a drought mm -hmm. for upbeat music. Yes. And there still is to some extent, but there's been yeah. a lot of really good ones coming out. You know what a lot of people sleep on though, man? And I know, you know, people want to, you know, kind of argue stuff with doctrine and stuff like that too, but like... He's going to say Indiana Bible College. Actually, I am. <laughs> and the music out of the UPC church, man. Yeah, they is, do good music. But also the thing, I mean, it exalts Jesus and yeah. everything too, but like, you know, the only, it's only anointed. Jesus, but. <laughs> <laughs> Acts 238, But anyways, so... um. But no, but like there's some great, and that's one of the things too is like there's so much stuff out there that you just really have to dig if you go outside the mainstream. And I've always been kind of like that nonconformist to Roger said if it's yeah, not. I'm looking, at, Rod, I'm looking at Roger's comments now, that's what I'm laughing. Um, that's slow for shout music though. Don't shout that slow. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm trying to think, is there any other reasons that you think? I think breaking it down. You got people don't want to get out of their comfort zone. They don't want to make a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. They care about what people think, yep. which biblically, you know, you look at David and his mm -hmm. wife. I'll become Ooh. even more, more undignified, undignified than, than this. this. 
Some may say it's foolishness, but I'll, I'll become, become even more undignified than this. Yeah, okay. No, 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 no. So you had those, uh, wait, what, what were you saying? Yes. But like, and then also the music standpoint. Too. The music standpoint. There's a musical standpoint, a deal of difficulty and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that as well. But um, any other closing thoughts on this? And we're not knocking anybody. We're just making an observation. So um, what do you, anything else you want to say? I would just say that at some point, but that's, uh, oh, let me also say this too. And I think this could be another reason. Okay. If you have more is, reasons, we can put them yes. in here. I'm just... I was just, I've got I ran a reason, out of my reason to praise. <laughs> I forgot my yes. reasons. Yes. One might say there might be 10,000 reasons. Oh, yeah, for sure. Anyways. Um, but oh, what was the song? I had it. And it Actually, just left you know my what? head. Another, what was it? There's another yeah, amount of reasons. What's that one? What? If the stars are made to worship, so uh -huh. uh, a hundred billion times. That's the reason, but anyways. It's a dog, man! I had, I had another reason and it just left. Oh, no, now I remember. Okay, okay yes. There's a myth let, that let says. Let him get his reasons back. Please. Let him cook, let him cook. I'm just kidding. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> just reminded me of the meme, too, with the guy doing like the salt thing. <laughs> Speaking of which, I have a video of this guy that I should bust what, out. What is it? The blooper from announcements. What did I do? I don't remember. You're like, did I do salt? About for the back to school bash and like, engine, what up though? We is going to have a back to school bash <laughs> with a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little sugar shit. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> That's what you said. I remember it. <laughs> oh man. No, but anyways, okay, bring it back in. So another reason is because some people have a misconception that the Holy Spirit has to take over me and make me do oh, it, yeah, or true. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. The Bible says, I will mm -hmm. bless the Lord at all times. Not the Spirit will. I will. I will. Praise is an act of your will. You have to make the choice to do it. How about when David said, bless the Lord, I tell myself. Yeah, there you to go. tell himself to bless the Lord. Yes, it's a command. And that's the thing is also with praise, you can't just praise God any way that you want to. Yeah. Because God, while yes, he's our, he's our Abba, he's our father, he's our daddy God. <laughs> so he's, he's also king. Yeah. And in a kingdom, there's protocols. And the king has a protocol, how he likes to be praised. Psalm 150, praise him on the loud crashing cymbals. Praise him in the dance. Praise him on the lyres, on... We're not talking about L I A R, but leers or however. You know what say happened? It. There was a big confusion in the church why yeah. people don't play liars anymore because they saw the verse that said liars go to hell. So they like <laughs> they burned all the liars, which yes. were basically like a, a let a, God be true and every man a liar. <laughs> every man just gets turned into. They burned like these weird looking like cello acoustic guitar things. Yes, like half harp, half cello, half acoustic mm -hmm. guitar called liars. Anyways, continue with your series. It's like a point. musical Minotaur, but anyway. So, <laughs> a Minotaur? So anyway, what is that? Like the the like the human the human horse. horse. <laughs> Talk about this guy. All right, go ahead with your series. Okay, yes. Anyways, so so God has a way that He prescribes and how He a protocol and how He wants to be praised. Yeah. And it's a command. So that's the thing, you know, in a kingdom, you have to obey the laws of the land, you know, and everything in, in the kingdom of God, there's so many laws and principles. There's laws to healing. There's laws to prosperity. There's law to abundance. There's laws to peace. There's different keys that unlock these doors. And so that's- People don't like that. People don't no, like that don't. doctrine, but it's biblical. Like you can't just tell God how you want him to be. Hmm. And if you told him that, if you put it in that way, people would get all offended. Like they'd be like, uh, oh no, I ain't telling God nothing. That's their name and claim it, people. They tell God. Actually, I'm naming and claim it. Yeah, actually, we're operating within the system of, of uh, speak to the mountain, uh, life mm -hmm. and death is in the power of the tongue, and so on and so on and so on. Absolutely. Like, if a man plenty. decrees a thing, it shall be established. Right. There's so many verses. Yeah. Like, we're operating biblically. Mm -hmm. But when you say. Yeah, you're not getting into like that manifesting stuff. Right. Like, no, not. Like that at all. That's the devil's perversion of it. Yeah. So you can I mean, obviously, that's a lot. Everything you have to ask is to line up with the word of God and yes. God's desire for your life. And, mm -hmm. and it, you know, anyways. Oh, the man of God himself Apostle is watching. Is on. Apostle Kyle Meyer. We're in here. Uh, 
disrespecting the podcast room with our terrible doctrine. No, I'm just kidding. We're not. Um, you did but, that a long time ago. No, I did that a long time ago. And I've been he still lets you no, use it. He still lets me use it. So, yeah, there we go. Love but, you, bro. Um, so what is, um, where were you at? Because you were saying something. No, I'm just saying people think that it's the Holy Spirit that has to take over you in order to dance before the Lord. or something. Yeah. So I only do it if I'm led by the Spirit. No, you put your flesh under submission, yeah. under subjection, and you actually go and you do it yourself. It's an act of your will, just like praying in tongues. If the Bible says, I will pray in the Spirit, and I will pray in the understanding. I will sing in the Spirit. I will sing in my understanding. He doesn't just possess your tongue uncontrollably whenever He sovereignly wills. You can turn it on or turn it off at any time that you want. So it's the same thing with praise. It's because, like, I praise... The, that's the thing is the level of your praise, the level of your worship determines the level of His worth in your life. Mm -hmm. If He's a big God to you, then yeah. you give Him a big praise. If you give Him a little praise, that shows that He's a little God in I mean, your life. I mean, it's the simple example everybody uses, but it, it's still true. Don't forget it. You go to a football game, you go to some kind of event, you go to your little Johnny's second grade flute recital, and you're like, <laughs> you're going buck wild when little Johnny comes up there. Mm -hmm. Or you're even in your living room watching the Dallas Cowboys ink out by the skin of their teeth a win like they did last night, and you're going That's crazy. That's a rare occasion, though. But yeah, yes. very rare occasion. <laughs> And you're going, you're going crazy, and and then because it means a lot to you, it's an indication of the worth. So, and people, you know, that's like a that example that they would use in like youth group. Come on, y'all! I seen y'all screaming at the football game, but you don't do it here. It's still true. It's not not true no, anymore. And a lot of adults need to hear it again because they yeah. forgot. And I think a lot of, you know, mm. a lot of adults that say, "Well, I'm too, I'm too." Um, are not physically that's, able to stand up that whole time. Maybe uh, your ability to be able physically is on the other side of your praise. Yeah, you don't know. I'm telling you the same thing that happened with my wife with uh, with Sayla and we're having trouble getting pregnant. We didn't pray. She praised her mm -hmm. her ankle swollen, and we came out after they said we're gonna yes. we want to have a hysterectomy, and in in, in your thirties. Uh, when you're 30 years old, and then on the other side of that, it was, uh, it was, oh no, we're gonna put every, everything on pause, and then mm -hmm. months later, we had it, we had a, a baby. So like, it's, yeah. you don't like, know what's on the other side. No, of your or like an, another example is like my dad earlier this year, he had a stroke that to where it was the one spot that was affected on his brain was the spot that affects your speech and your mobility, yeah. and he went into like outpatient or inpatient physical therapy for like a week and a half after being in the hospital for almost a week. And then he gets home and he's watching actually Dominion's live stream. Yeah. And then um, Pastor Nanda and Brooke, they were leading, but then Pastor Nanda spontaneously went into a song that she and I actually co-wrote together too, which also shameless plug for Pastor Nanda tonight, the last generation album and book release, which we're also gonna be a part of, yes. is tonight at Dominion. That is why I'm actually in Darlington, it was because of flying up for that. So um, He tonight, came to do the podcast was the main reason, though. He's just gonna swing by and sing. Well, like anyways, but <laughs> no, we love you, Pastor Nanda. And so if you're in the area, if you're in the PD region, Tonight if you're not, get here. Absolutely. You, you still got time. You still got time to book your plane ticket to hop from <laughs> Ohio to come down here. No. Oh, yeah. But, um, but anyways, so then, like, all of a sudden she went into the, to the, to the song, and then my dad just determined he was going to step out in faith. And because he was having to use a walker, he just gets up. He felt something come over him. He gets up and then starts lifting up his hands, starts jumping up and down, starts running in his living room and received his manifestation of healing and is still walking in healing. Wow. But it was on the other side of taking that determined that determination to praise yep. from his will, just like your wife, Pastor Grace. And then now you see the miracle. So that's yeah. the thing is praise is a key yep. that unlocks because you put your will. You're telling your body, like, you're not gonna rule me, you know? Mm -hmm. You're just telling, and you know, I'm gonna stand up on my, I don't care if you got type three diabetes and, and cankles yes. busting out your shoes. <laughs> yeah, you need to stand up and honor the Lord. No, I'm just yes. on the side. But no, in all seriness, that, yes. that you don't know what's on the other side of that. No, But can I do one yeah, 30, go ahead. 30 second? No, go ahead, I'm not trying to shut it down. I'm only, no, I, I, I don't, don't, don't wanna mess your time up. I don't wanna you mess can keep going as long as, as you want. It's fine with me. Well, we're, we're, we're going to respect people's time, too. But no, y'all have to so. stay on here. You can't so, leave yet. So that's the thing is, well, also, you know, a word that we throw out a lot, hallelujah, is actually, it's the word itself is a command. 
Okay. It's telling, so it's two different words. I'm gonna tell you, I ain't gonna lie right now. I'm gonna pass the, oh, I didn't know. I don't even know what hallelujah means right now. I'm gonna tell you, I thought so, it was just a holy word that God gave. Okay, go ahead. So hallelujah is actually a compound word. It's, you have halal and then yah. It, you're telling the people to halal yah, which is the Lord. So yah is okay. for God. Halal is one of the seven Hebrew words for praise, and it means to brave, boast, or be clamorously foolish. Wow. So you're actually okay. giving the people a command to rave, boast, be clamorously foolish before God. So hallelujah was never meant to just be no disrespect to Benny Hinn, but hallelujah. And that's hallelujah. You're getting it mixed up. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. No, it's... You're, you're raving, you're boasting, you're putting all your body into it because you're boasting in the Lord. But also, you know, and just with culture, and you know, we've named lots of different examples and stuff like that. So we don't want to show dishonor or anything like that. But or at least I don't want to show dishonor to that. I we're, don't we're, care. Yes, he doesn't. He kidding, doesn't sure. care. So no. we're, we're we're breaking the spirit of rebellion off. But no, I'm just kidding. So, um, but this is one thing I say all the time: just because it's popular doesn't mean it's effective. Yep, that's true. So just because it's what the leading worship leaders and teams are and what the artists are doing does not mean it's effective. Effective means you're producing the desired result. If you're wanting to see the desired result in your services be the sound of the kingdom released with miracles, signs, wonders, faith rising up in people, and then seeing, experiencing Pentecost and a revival, that's not going to come without going through the door of praise. Yep. It's biblical. It and, is. And people... They want to separate the the Bible, the Word of God, mm -hmm. and the the biblical steps that the Bible has put for different things, various mm -hmm. different things. They want to separate that from God knows my heart and God under you know. And if but if you want to know God's heart, you got to know the, what the Word says. Yeah. Like to know Him to go. If you're really going after God's heart, you're going to find out this, um, you know thousand page document he wrote to you yep. or, or more I don't, or less depending on what yep. size and I'll be box. completely honest it, it, it's that's not my personality yeah but if you see and if you see me how like I praise the Lord I mean I need all kinds of room I need the COVID six feet like apart rule at least and but I, I'm like an ambivert I guess is what they'd say like you're kind of in between like introverted and extroverted okay and stuff and so like or as I said one day when I was taking up an offering in yeah. New Harvest, an outrovert. Outrovert. <laughs> Are you an introvert or an outrovert? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's not your personality, but you said, I don't yeah. care, it's biblical. I'm going to do it. Exactly. He and commands it. And yeah. I so many things in the Word of God that may not line up with your personality, but they're what God asks you to do. Mm -hmm. So you do it. Um, but, I mean, this, this was really cool. So I think that... Um, yeah, we really did. we got into some good stuff. So I don't know That's if there's good. anything else you want to throw in there. I would just say I'm you can't you cannot um, in anything you can't tell God what you think the way you think it should go. You go with what He said. He is the truth. So you don't start making your little subsets of truth outside of the Bible. Oh, to it's fit my truth. What's comfortable for you in yeah. church or to fit? What, no. how you think it should go, or God knows my heart. God, you know, and I, I, that's the big one. God knows my heart. He understands. So uh, if, the, if I don't feel like praising, he knows where my heart's at. If I don't feel like giving, he knows where my heart's at. If I, you how know. many times in your marriage have you had to do something for your wife that you didn't feel like doing? Um, do, All the time, right? <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. What's the biggest number that ever existed? That's, no, I'm just kidding. That's not true. You surpassed 70 times 7. Oh, well, we're way past 70 times 7. We're like 7 of a gazillion times of a 7 of a, a, a gazillion. No, I'm just playing. It's exponents for sure. Mm -hmm. Exponents. All, seri all serious. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, no, yeah, you're right. You, you don't always feel like, mm -mm. you know, everybody wants to be like, you want to do what your flesh wants to do. And that going back to the very first point, that praise will get you past the flesh into a more spirit conscious thing. Yep. It's one of the ways, I mean, you know, prayer, fasting, um, meditating on the word, and praise is key, mm -hmm. right? Because you can't truly worship in spirit and in truth until you get <laughs> you past. Your wife's oh, see, right. You <laughs> better watch it. I'm 10 feet away from <laughs> So Or stab him in the pen, in the, stab, the, stab the, him in the neck with the, the pencil. pencil. Yeah. <laughs> 
It was <laughs> Pastor Chuck's favorite yes. thing my wife ever said was that she was going to stab somebody in the neck with a pencil. So yes. Um, but yeah, it's all about you know. Praise is a sacrifice. Praise gets uh, removes the spirit of heaviness. It gets the flesh off. This would be a good infographic. It's, on hmm? your, this would be a good infographic on your Instagram. Oh yeah, it'd be a great infographic for sure. Thanks, Porter. Uh, he really likes my infographics. I, I like some. If at least somebody appreciates them, you know. I do. So um, I have what? I have those right here. The pencils. Oh, you have the pencils. Okay, that's scary. Um, I'm gonna put Porter in front of me. Yeah, right. I'll oh, be your shield of faith. Let's. Um, do you have any uh, closing thoughts uh, before we go, or would we pretty much wrap it this sucker I up? I think we pretty much wrapped it up. But that's the biggest thing: is just you just ha you have to get out of your head and get out of your feelings and just give him what he wants. Yeah, exactly. he desires your praise. But remember, he he desires worship through worship in spirit and in truth. And your flesh has to get out of the way. The flesh can't get out of the way except through praise. Amen. That's that's good. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, I do. I always do the giving. If you want to sow yes. into Dominion Church Sumter, this is good ground, guys. It's good ground. I'm a good grounded man, good even though I sound man. a little crazy right now. I listen. We're gonna have fun. It, I, the joy of the Lord is my strength. It is. So um, you gotta enjoy life. Yes, my mom, my mom just put it's simple obedience. Simple obedience. That's praise. good. Yeah, that's good. It's Shout obedient. out, mom. Love you. Shout out. Mama Susan. Mama Susan. Um, but if you want to sow into what we're uh, doing at Sumter, everything you give today, Cash App, Dollar Sign, Dominion Church, Sumter, and online, you can give. And yes. uh, Pastor Porter's going to pray over us as, as we go and pray over anybody that gives. But uh, hope, tune in this Sunday. Hopefully you have a big announcement for you guys. So. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, so you want to make sure you watch it. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of jumping ahead a little bit. No, they're not having child number two. We're not having child number two. Yeah, yeah, get off of there. We're actually having triplets. No, I'm just kidding. Yes. Child number everybody, two, three, Everybody four. who thinks you're doing a big announcement thinks that, it's, that you're having another kid. Anybody who thinks I'm doing a big announcement thinks that I found a girlfriend. Well, we're going to find or you one. Hey, guys, yes. share this. He's a handsome man, y'all. Look at him. He's got a Bass Pro hat on, too. They're working out. They were talking about his legs. <laughs> Let me stop. Please Who's stop. up? <laughs> okay, All right. Let's get, we're going to pray and we're going to close out. Uh, pray yes. a blessing over everybody. Yes. And uh, just pray over anybody that gives. And <laughs> I'm going to pray over your mind to be sanctified. Pray for me. <laughs> Anyways, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For your word. God, we thank you that your word says that we can put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Father, I just speak over everyone who's watching this live stream, Lord God, that in this podcast. Lord God, either live or after the fact, God, that you are just challenging them, Lord, to be the praiser and be the worshiper that you desire. Lord, we thank you, Father, that there just be a boldness that would rise up. And I just speak freedom of this fear of man yeah. off of your people, Lord God, that they would not fear what other people think or fear what even their pastor would think or what in certain churches or what their, their boss would think or what their friends or family or anybody would think, but that you would be, Lord God, the first place and that they would fear you more than they fear man lord god yeah. your word says the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom so god we want to make sure that you are pleased with our praise you are pleased with our worship god i just thank you that even if there's worship leaders and even pastors who are watching this lord god that you would challenge them lord god to shift the culture in their houses lord god to be one that is a house of praise set apart unto you god and we i just declare and speak father that there would be Lord, new dimensions of freedom, new dimensions of deliverance, manifestations of your spirit, power, miracles, signs and wonders that would come forth, Lord God, that they won't just make noise, but would release the sound. Lord God, just as when Paul and Silas were in prison singing hymns and praises unto God, then all of a sudden the prisoners heard them and the prison doors opened, not just for them, but the, the chains actually broke off of the prisoners around them. God, so I thank you that their praise would also set other people free. God, and I just speak boldness and courage over them, Lord God, and also those who are also in the path of um, Hurricane Helen or Helene, however you pronounce it, because it's got that extra E on the end that throws off the pronunciation. Lord God, that you <laughs> would actually just protect them, we, that you'd be a shield around about them, Lord God. And for those who have lost, God, we thank you that you're the God that restores exceeding abundantly above all you could ask or think. God, we, we dispatch angels on assignment around them 
now in the name of Jesus. God, I just speak a blessing too over Pastor Corey. God, I thank you, Lord, for the work that you're doing in him, Lord God, to bring the message of faith and your word and power, Lord God, to the ends of the earth. God, I thank you, Lord, for the work that him and Pastor Grace are doing in Sumter, Lord God, that you would multiply the works of their hands. God, I thank you for downloading fresh revelation of your word. Lord God, that it won't just be repeated revelation or rehashed revelation, God, but that you give your daily bread for them, Lord God, that you show them the mysteries of your kingdom, God. They will discover new keys in your kingdom, Lord God, of faith and miracles and provision and healing and breakthrough. God, I just thank you that you multiply everything they set their hands onto and crown their efforts with great success. And I give you praise and glory for all that in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thanks for being on here, man. I think it was really good. It was good. I think people enjoyed it, man. So enjoyed it. uh, we'll do it again next time you come through or we can figure out how to do doggone Zoom, Zoom or, or something. whatever. But yes. God bless y'all. Um, does Porter even fish? Yes, actually he does. I've done it a couple times at least. I wanted to do it more, but my friends who like to go fishing, they don't invite me anymore. You must have been a terrible fishing person, fishing partner. No, I'm just kidding. No. You're welcome, I Christina. No, I suck at fishing. I caught a garfish one time. You wouldn't even I touch the I wouldn't the touch fish. it. The fish I caught, I, I didn't won't touch it. it. I ain't touching that thing. Because they touched it, and they were like, ow. And I was like, why would I touch it? You know? So, yes. Anyways. I really, Pastor Rob, I see you put that comment on there. I really only have this is because are you even a worship leader if you don't have a Bass Pro hat? you got to have a Bass Pro hat. I was peer pressured on a trip by my pastor and um, two of my friends who are on staff with us at church and because yeah. they all had them and I did not. So and I if you're in gave, Florida and you don't have yes. one, that's disrespect. If you're mm-hmm. a worship leader in Florida and you don't own a Bass Pro Yes, hat, Mama Angie, I do want to go with y'all to Lake Murray one trip. I keep hearing about the great things about the lake. So I want to experience yeah, play the some, great uh, lake. Play some Tyler Hicks yes. and just sit out there on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> that's our cue. So. All right, see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Love y'all. Mean it. <laughs>